the optical sorting process that we have the uh, opportunity to provide uh, comes from NRT. Uh, they have um, a very distinct technology. Two things in particular that they do is provide individual uh, scanning channels. Uh, we're not trying to rely on a single sweeping uh, technology to look from one side of the belt to the next and try to see all the pro product that is on that belt. Even though, though those processes operate at high scanning rates, they can't compare to our ability to see what's coming down the belt based on our individual channel design. What we have developed with NRT is the ability to scan the material in flight. Look at the material as it leaves the belt. The thing that's also unique and makes it difficult to duplicate is the software and the algorithms that NRT has developed to make this scan eject function happen in milliseconds. The computer has to outthink and outrace that container as it's flying through the air at feet per second and within a few milliseconds give the fire command to eject that product and when we give the command to fire on that container and eject it the probability that we're going to get a good hit, we're going to get a good movement of that product to where we want it to go is very, very high. The ability to move thousands of objects per hour, uh, do it consistently, achieve high recoveries, achieve high purities is, uh, is more than you can do with people and a lot of people. You get tremendous product, tremendous efficiencies. And in this business, when you talk about the difference between a 97% uh, rate or a 98% rate, uh, those become big numbers. These machines move thousands of pieces per hour, thousands in the hour in a normal operating facility. And making a 1% difference in the recovery, making a 1% difference in the purity is something that you don't want to pass on.